I'm going to explain a few things. And if you're a mechanic, you probably aren't watching this video. You probably only watch this video for the uh, removal part. But if you're here to watch me talk, or if you like the, the sound of my sweet buttery voice, <laughs> then I'm going to explain a few things about the windshield wiper system. So right here, we have a few components of the windshield wiper system. We have the windshield wiper, known as the arm. We have the transmission linkage, the windshield transmission linkage. And that's it's this bar that sort of connects the two windshield wipers and the, um, uh, and the motor. And then finally, we have the motor down here. The way that this system works, basically, I explained it earlier, but basically the motor spins this little crank here, and this crank spins around. As it spins around, this pivot point right here takes these two bars that are attached to it, and they also rotate um, in a synchronized fashion. So, that's the magic. So, if you ever wondered how a transmission, a windshield wiper system works, this is how it works. Basically, you have the motor spinning a linkage arm. This linkage arm is like a crank and slider. It rotates it, and it causes both of these um, stud right here, these two studs, in a way so that they're they're only pivoting between two points, uh, two angles. So I think it's around a 90 degree angle. Don't quote me on that. But essentially, it just turns the, uh, the uh, wipers at the same time. All right. So with that out of the way, let's explain more about why we're fixing the car. So the reason that we fixed the car is because actually our old transmission linkage, this right here, not to be confused with the transmission gearbox, was broken. The reason why was because these studs here, they're called curbled studs, but essentially they're supposed to contact with the windshield at this gritty point right here. And if you can't see it, it's supposed to be like a little ridged part right here. And what happened was during the winter, this happens frequently, but we tried to turn the windshield when it was frozen. When you try to turn the windshield when it's frozen, it's not going to turn. But the motor is still going to try its best. As it tries its best, it's going to keep grinding against the thing that won't move, and eventually it's going to strip it. So you can see on the windshield, it's actually stripped here. There's no like grooves that, that can uh, it can grab onto. And on the stud itself, there are no grooves that it can grab onto. All right. Um, I think I said windshield instead of this is the wiper arm. If I said if I call this the windshield, I meant the wiper arm, but you you know that. I might be still cold. But anyway, essentially I say essentially a lot too. When this tries to turn around, there's nothing for it to engage with, so it doesn't it only turns by itself. It doesn't turn the wiper arm with it. So this is just a static arm. That's why we need to replace the um, transmission linkage. All right, so talking about a few other things, you actually don't have to replace the entire transmission linkage if you want to, because a, a temporary solution, at least, is that you can take nylon bushings, and they're like $5 a piece, I think, and you can actually put them in between the um, stud and the, wind, the wiper arm so that it can grip on. So you can just take something that's $5 and put it in there. So what we did instead was we found a relatively cheap actually it was forty dollars transmission linkage and then we decided to replace that entirely instead because that nylon bushing thing is just temporary also just fun fact here the mo ow the motor alone here can go for around forty dollars so the fact that we found the entire transmission linkage with the motor for forty dollars by itself it's already a pretty good thing so i guess what we're going to do with this transmission linkage now is we're going to probably take the motor off because the transmission linkage is gone and then we're gonna probably sell it on ebay for like 40 dollars to get our cash back and i guess the same thing goes with the windshield wiper we got the pair of them for around 60 dollars and they cost 40 dollars individually so we might end up they're both broken don't worry about it uh we might end up just reselling this for 40 dollars anyway so in the end my dad isn't just teaching me how to fix cars he's also teaching me how to Maybe not save money, but rather to replenish uh, the money that we lost. <laughs>
Anyway, if you want to learn more about the situation that we had with the windshield wiper, you can always check out my other video on why do cars have their windshield wipers facing up. Hi, I'm Mylon. Welcome back to my videos. Have you ever seen someone pull out their windshield wipers like this and leave it like this? Now, obviously, if you live in a colder region, you might know why, but if you live in a warmer region like Malaysia, you all know, which is an exact reason to watch this kind of video. I think in that video I also mentioned this battery tool. Now, I don't know why I'm bringing this up, I just thought of it, but this battery charging tool. I talked more about it in that video, but I'm probably also going to do a video on that in the future. Alright, so by this point, if you're still here um, and you're listening to my sweet buttery voice, I thank you for still watching. Um, if you don't know what I was talking about earlier about uh, cars keeping their windshield wipers up, what I'm talking about is right here on the security camera, you can see that we have a few of the cars, they have their windshield wipers facing up. I'm not going to spoil why that is. You probably can already figure out from what I've talked about, but I talk about it more in that video. So go check that out, and I'll see you there. Um, I, also, I guess, since I pointed it out, we also have a security camera system. I've done a few videos on the security camera system, so go check them out if you want to, and I'll see you there. So I'm Ayman and thanks for watching. Today I showed you how to replace the windshield wiper system, uh, any of its individual components, and uh, I hope you had a fun day. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Ayman, um, including the why do cars keep their windshield wipers up, the security camera system, and the video will be on the battery charger in the future. That's a lot of tangents to go off on, but you know, I'm having fun. And I guess I'll see you there. So, I guess that's it. I'm Ayman, the mechanic, and signing out. Peace. Hold on, way too many changes there.